the scariest movies in the history of cinematography send chills down our spines at the mere thought of them. All because the combination of their horrific plot and creepy characters makes a fear-exploding mixture that haunts these movie watchers for a long time. Nevertheless, horror movie villains have their own personalities, which might resemble yours. And we at One Million Tests are going to find out which of them you'll easily be able to replace. Which horror movie villain are you? Are you ready? Just choose your answers and count your stars. You'll have 10 questions and 5 seconds to decide. Remember to let me know about your results in the comment section below. Ready? Steady? Go! Why might someone find you scary? I'm quiet and imposing. I'm obviously much smarter than other people. I've clearly lost my grip on reality. Have your five seconds, think for a while, and get ready for your first bunch of stars. Two. One. Three. Question number two. Which of these seems like the most fun on Halloween? Carving pumpkins. Scaring people. Cooking treats. Is Halloween widely celebrated in your country? Which country do you live in? Carving pumpkins gets one star. Scaring people gets three stars. Cooking Treats gets two stars. Question number three. The toughest thing about being your roommate is... I can be messy. I've got some pretty strange interests. I'm kind of a neat freak about the way things are organized. Do you have a separate room in your parents' house, or do you share it with your siblings? Three, two, one. Question number four. Which of these is most likely to outrage you on the internet? Internet trolls. People bragging about their bad behavior. Everyone pretending like everything is awesome all the time. How much time a day do you spend on the internet? Do you ever feel like you should cut back on it? One. Two. Three. Question number five. Would you describe yourself as funny? Yes. Kind of. Nope. Are you enjoying our videos as much as we enjoy doing them for you? Share this quiz with your best friends so that they can enjoy our tests too. Three. Two. One. Question number six. Have you ever been described as looking young? Yes. Ugh. Nope. Maybe? This question reminds me of Dorian Gray. Have you ever read this book? Your stars. Two. One. Three. Question number seven. Can you hold the conversation or do things get awkwardly quiet? I can hold the conversation. 
things get awkwardly quiet. I've been accused of talking at people and taking over the conversation, so... Are you aware of any communicational tricks that can make your interlocutor like your personality? What are they? One. Three. Two. Question number eight. Are you good at puzzles? Yes. No. It depends on the puzzle. What is the biggest puzzle of life for you? Waiting for your answers in the comments. Your stars. One. Three. Two. Question number nine. Most people would describe you as crazy, quiet, witty. It's always nice to know what surroundings think about you, isn't it? Crazy gets three stars. Quiet gets one star. Witty gets two stars. Question number 10. Do you like trolling people? Yes. No. I like more torture than just trolling. That's the last question of our horrific quiz. Get ready to know your evil self. Your stars. Yes, you did it. Are you ready for the results? Just add up your points and let's see what you got. You got from 10 to 14. Jigsaw. Clever and obsessive about the details, you're a meticulous planner who loves nothing better than to see a plan go off like clockwork. Couple that with your iron will and steadfast moral code, and you see yourself as the dark face of real justice. You got from 15 to 19, Hannibal Lecter. Smart and self-assured, you have many refined qualities, but none so much as your impeccable taste. People may think you're an emotionless creature, but it's not true. You can love and fear just like anyone else, and you can't stand people with bad manners. You got from 20 to 25. Chucky! You, uh, you may be small and relatively not innocent, but maybe young looking? Maybe you don't look so tough, but looks can be deceiving and you will use your looks as a disguise. You're a creative type and a survivor who will do anything it takes to stay alive. With a wicked sense of humor, you also remember to savor life's little pleasures. You got from 26 to 30, Freddy Krueger. You are a pest, if anything. Like, people are just trying to get their night's worth of sleep, they have work in the morning, they're dog tired from the hectic day, all they want is a few peaceful hours of sleep, but no! You're in there trolling, trying to kill them. How rude. What result did you get? Please tell us about it in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to click the subscribe button for more cool tests.